Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys a super exciting video, at least for me this is exciting. I'm sure for at least some of you guys, hauls are super exciting. So, if you couldn't guess already, this is going to be my oh, huge box, huge box. Sephora haul! <laughs> This is gonna be in my Sephora VIB Rouge haul, and I'm really excited about this. I've been accumulating this pretty much for the three days that the sale was going on, and I really wanna get this up by the time that the VIB sale starts, which I think starts tomorrow. Today is Thursday that I'm filming this. I wanna get it up by tomorrow, and I think that the sale starts tomorrow because I don't know about you guys but I love to watch other people's like Sephora hauls so I can just be like okay good add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, I'm broke. So I have been wanting to do this haul but my second order or I guess the second batch of my stuff didn't come in until yesterday and then I couldn't film it yesterday so today we are doing the damn thing and I am so excited. So let's just jump into this haul. So let me start off by showing you guys two palettes that I literally just like went in on. I don't have the packaging anymore because I could not contain myself. So the first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette. This is what the palette looks like on the outside. I love this packaging. This is for sure my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills packaging for the palette. However, this is my least favorite palette on the inside. It comes with the most shades. I think it comes with 14 shades and it's only $35 if I'm not mistaken. But this just comes with no matte eyeshadows. And if you guys know me, I love matte eyeshadows. I need matte eyeshadows. I know there's so many matte eyeshadow palettes and it's like, okay, I can just, you know, use those matte eyeshadow palettes and use it with these metallic eyeshadows. But I'm just not that type of person. Like, I need matte eyeshadows in every single palette. But this has two matte eyeshadows too and these two are the matte eyeshadows hot chocolate and buttery and of course they're like my two favorite eyeshadows in the palette the tutorial that I filmed with this which is not gonna be up yet is only using two shades from this palette and everything else I had to use a different palette for so that's why I feel like I don't know about this palette too much when I saw it and saw how many metallic eyeshadows were in it originally before it even launched I was not sure about it but I decided to pick it up just in case you guys wanted to know what I thought about it or you guys wanted to see a tutorial with it. But for me, this is just like a huge thumbs down. Probably my least favorite thing. No, probably my second least favorite thing that I picked up so far. I did try some of the stuff out and this is one of them and I'm not a fan. The second thing that I picked up, though I'm very much a fan, this is the Becca Champagne Glow Palette. And you guys know I could not wait to open this. You know I couldn't. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It comes with pearl, champagne pop, and blush copper. I do own blush copper and champagne pop in full sizes. And I always use blush copper all the time. I always put it right over my blush because I love that shade. I think it just adds so much warmth and like healthy glowiness. So I love that. And then of course champagne pop. Who doesn't love champagne pop? And pearl is really pretty. I do put it like barely on my cheekbones because this is like white can you just imagine that on my cheekbones mm -mm. so I do just like put it a little bit over champagne pop sometimes and it just gives it a little bit of an extra kick so I really like this palette and I suggest you guys pick this up so since we're talking about palettes I figure let's just stick with the theme and I'm going to talk about two eyeshadow palettes that are so exciting to me these are Vizzy Art eyeshadow palettes honestly Vizzy Art has become my hands down favorite eyeshadow brand ever their formula is just so pigmented and buttery and smooth and I just I love it so I picked up two eyeshadow palettes from them like I said I own the dark matte and the neutral matte so this one that I got is the bright editorial and I got it dirty just now because I put my lashes on it while the glue was getting tacky so now there's like glue all over it but <laughs> this is what this palette looks like this is all just matte super bright eyeshadows which is just like this is me right here matte is all me bright eyeshadows all me this is all me, That's all me. All me. All me. so I was planning on doing a look with these eyeshadows but I ended up not doing that and instead I used this other palette so this one is the cool mattes so they have the neutral mattes the dark mattes and now they have the cool mattes and I Love the look that came out with these. I'm wearing just this eyeshadow palette and a couple of eyeshadows from another palette that I'll show you guys that I got. 
and I love this. I'm really not a cool eyeshadow person, but these colors just like spoke to me and I love the way that this like gray smoky eye came out. I used this shade, this shade, and this shade. I believe those are the only shades that I used. And I just, I love this palette and I love how creamy it is. Just as creamy as the other two palettes. And I highly recommend Viseart eyeshadow palettes. I know a lot of you guys are like, mm, that's $80, girl. That's not cheap, eh? But the thing is, this is totally, totally worth it. If you guys ask me about Natasha Denona eyeshadows and you ask me if those are worth it, that's going to be a no for me. But these I absolutely love and I think is definitely worth the price. So those are Viseart eyeshadow palettes. So, you know, I'm not done with the eyeshadow palettes, right? So I also picked up two Makeup Forever Artist shadow palettes. Makeup Forever also has one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. I would say that's my second favorite right after the Viseart ones because Viseart has literally just stolen my heart. But you know, at the same time, I've never tried any like metallic or satin or anything but matte eyeshadows from Viseart, so I wouldn't know about those. But all of Makeup Forever's eyeshadows are incredible. So the first one I picked up is the Artist Shadows 1. And this is just what it looks like on the inside. This one has all neutrals in it. When these eyeshadow palettes came out, I was completely turned off by them because they have no mattes in them again. And your girl needs some mattes. But I just decided, you know what, I'm getting 20% off. I love Makeup Forever eyeshadows. Let's just do it. So I picked up the neutral one and the colorful one. And from this palette, I also put some of the colors on my eyes today. I used this color, which is S556 this like taupe gray color and then I also used this color which is I528 in my inner corner so I love these I of course all Makeup Forever eyeshadows are like amazing so of course I'm gonna love these and then the other eyeshadow palette I got it just says Artist Shadows 2 and this is just the bright eyeshadow palette I was more drawn towards this one than I was the other one just because these colors are so beautiful. There's also a lot of neutral shades in here so if you wanted to use some like mattes all over the crease and in the outer corner and then just pop one of like these shades on your lid you could still get a fairly neutral look but I was just so drawn to this green shade right here like I needed to have this green shade I needed it and that's the color ME302 and I'm super excited about it. I'm super excited about all these colors. I just think these are so beautiful. I think this like copper, oh my god I just dug my nail in there. <laughs> my bad. I think this like copper shade over here ME700 is so beautiful. You know I might actually have that color. I'll have to check my collection. <laughs> but I don't know if I have that color or not but it looks like a color that I would get so I don't, I don't know. But I know for sure that I do have ME512 which is this color right here. And both of the palettes actually come with this color. I think it's like golden beige or something like that. But it's a beautiful color, so I don't mind having like 37 of them. So those are the Makeup Forever palettes. You know I was lying to you, right, when I said that was it for palettes? <laughs> because I have another Makeup Forever palette, I really debated on getting this palette or not. I was just like, you know, like, again, there's no mattes. Like, why are these companies coming out with palettes with no mattes? Like, I need mattes. I need mattes. I don't know about you guys, but even though I have mattes in like every single palette, I still need them in every single palette. So, I was not going to get this because of that reason. And also, it has a lot of repeat shades from... I'm just throwing things. It has a lot of repeat shades from the Studio Case that came out last year, which I do own that one. So I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get it, but this packaging, first of all, I needed to have this. Like, if I didn't have this... I just, I don't know what I would do with myself. So this is beautiful. And the colors inside are really pretty. But again, there's no matte. So even though I have some of these shades already and there's no mattes in the palette, I feel like it's still a good buy just because it is at like a really good discounted price. And on top of that, these shadows are just so amazing. If you guys have never tried Makeup Forever Artist eyeshadows and you just hear everybody raving about them and you're like, Okay, I need to try them. This is the way to try them. This one or the other palettes that I showed you because they're relatively inexpensive. I think this one was $59 and I think the other palettes went for $42. So not bad at all and you get a good amount of eyeshadows. So I would suggest you guys check this out. Okay, and then the next thing that I got is this little liquid lipstick duo. This is the Lolita Lip Duo by Kat Von D. I do own Lolita, the most recent formula of Lolita. I think it is the most recent formula of Lolita. I don't even know. If you guys are not familiar with Lolita, Lolita is of course one of Cap- I cannot get the stuff out of packaging. Like what are you doing? Basically Cap 
Von D came out with this color and it's one of her best selling shades, probably her best selling shade like ever. She came out with this color in her Everlasting Liquid Lipstick formula, then she reformulated it and had like a bad batch. It was like a purple deep mauve type of color which personally is my favorite one. I wish I had that formula but I don't. I have the most recent formula. Then she reformulated again and came out with another Lolita. So the Lolita that we have right now is just the regular Lolita, the one that's in stores right now, and then there was a bad batch before that, and then there was another batch before that. So basically, this color is the Lolita we have now, and then this color is the original Lolita. So I'm going to swatch them both for you. The reason I did those air quotes is because I've seen swatches of it next to the Lolita that we have now, and it doesn't look like it's the same color, which is the reason I purchased this duo, to be honest with you, because I do have the, um, the big size of the Lolita. So, this is Lolita that we have now, and then this is Lolita 2, which is the first formula she ever came out with. So this is my big size of Lolita. Let's put them next to each other. Oh, that actually does look like it's the same color. Oh well, now I have a baby size too, so this is the big size Lolita, and then that's the baby size Lolita. They pretty much look the same, so... I could have skipped out on it, but it's okay. They are coming out with Lolita 2 in a big size, but for the holidays, they just released this little baby kit, and obviously I had to get my hands on it. So, that's that. So, since we're talking about liquid lipstick sets, let me show you guys another one. This one is by Stila, and this is the Stila Eternally Yours Liquid Lipstick Set, and this is what it looks like. It comes with six colors. It comes with Caramello. Wait, let me see if it's, like, in order. I think it is. Caramello, Patina, Aria, Como, Chianti, and Fiery. I actually own Fiery and Patina in the full size, but this, like, I could not give this up. Like, I had to have this. It's such a good deal. I think it's, like, $39, and you get these six colors, and they're pretty good size. Like, I've never run through a liquid lipstick, so am I going to run through these? I doubt it. So, Patina is just, like, a beautiful, dusty mauve shade. If you are one of those people who is, like, been fiending for that shade because I know that this shade is like always out of stock. I would get this set because you get it in the set. You also get Aria, which is one that I was looking at purchasing, but never got the chance to. <laughs> and then you get all these beautiful berry shades. You got a purple and you've got this beautiful nude, which I think I feel like this nude is limited edition or like exclusive to the set. I thought that this was sold out. I believe that it is sold out online. I'm not 100% sure, but. I had to go into store to get it, and I, as soon as I called the store and they were like, I have it, I'm like, oh, good, because I'm outside. <laughs> if you can, I would highly suggest you guys pick this up. Like I said, it's a great value, even if you want to give it as a gift, which I don't suggest you do that. I suggest you keep it for yourself. Okay, so I'm literally, I'm just grabbing things, honestly. So the next thing that I have here is this Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, and this is the Mattifying Primer, and if you guys don't know... My skin is so oily. It's like, oh wow, that's, yeah, let me show you the back. My skin is the oiliest thing, I think, on planet Earth. So, I was really looking forward to using this, and a lot of people said that this reminded them of the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer, which used to be one of my favorites, but it kind of went a little crazy on me at the end there. So, I'm really excited to use this one. I didn't use it today, of course, because I forgot. So, let me see. It looks a lot like the Becca one when you put it on your hand. And it feels just like the Becca one. So I'm really excited to use this one. And I do have the smoothing one. And I really like that one too. So I can't wait to use this one. The next thing I got is a face mask by Glam Glow. And this is actually because of you guys. I told you guys in my October favorites, I think, that I really love the orange Glam Glow mask because it exfoliates. And I am like an exfoliation junkie. Like I want to exfoliate every day with new products. And like I just love exfoliation. So, you guys told me that this one is so... I cannot open this. You guys told me that this is like the best exfoliating mask ever. And I read the reviews on Sephora and it seemed kind of like 50-50. A lot of people liked it and a lot of people really hated it because it apparently stings, which I'm okay with. I'll sting my face all day or day if you're exfoliating it. I don't care. So this is just what it looks like right here. I am so excited. have not used this yet. As you can tell, the thing is like still on there. So I'm really excited. I do hope it tingles my face, but I hope it doesn't like chemically burn my face, you know, because I, I read a lot of people's reviews and they were like, mm, this kind of breaks me out into like hives and like I almost die. I look like two face from Batman because of this. Like I'm like, mm, <laughs> I don't know about that. So we'll see how this goes. I will definitely let you guys know definitely on Snapchat how I like it. Okay, so I only purchased two more things and then I have like 
the mother load of samples. The next thing I got is this Makeup Forever Aqua Liner. And this is just a black waterproof eyeliner. As soon as it said waterproof and liquid online, I was like, oh good, add to cart, send it to my house right now. Basically, my eyes are the most wateriest things. Honestly, they're like Niagara Falls on the daily. So it's so hard for me to put on eyeliner because it always gets like smudged and messed up and then I look all types of crazy and people think I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm just like, listen, listen, if you had Niagara Falls for eyes, you would look crazy too. So basically I got this to save my life and I literally got it sent to my house. Like I didn't even wait for the sale for this. I was like, I need this right now. You guys know on Snapchat, if you follow me, I am always just like, <laughs> look at my makeup. So basically I thought this was just gonna be like the NYC liquid liner, except in a waterproof version. And I was mistaken, I was mistaken. I did use this today for my liner and I went over it with the NYC liquid liner because I just, I don't, I don't think that I like this. I don't think I'm keeping this. I think this is going back. Again, this is my first day using it, so I don't know, but I don't think that this is for me. Basically, my problem with this is the brush. It is the, like, weirdest, it's like a felt tip brush, but I feel like felt tip brushes for liquid liners like this like not in a pen style it's just so weird and it felt really awkward on my eyes it was really hard and I just don't like it I like the brush on the NYC liquid liner a lot better I just wish that the formula was waterproof because if it was I would be set for life I would be set so the final thing that I picked up is this big kahuna right here this is the Sephora perfume sampler they come out with this every year during the holidays I didn't get it last year I don't know why but I did get it the year before that and I ended up getting I think I got two perfumes that year I redeemed it for a Dior perfume I think it's like Dior addict I don't really know it's like in a purple bottle you know what I'm talking about and I actually still have that perfume like <laughs> it's kind of a long time ago but I redeemed it for that and then I really loved another sample so much I think it was a Givenchy perfume that I went out and bought it too so I know that's how you're making your money Sephora I see what you're doing but it's okay because I'm gonna still do it <laughs> So you get 15 perfume samples in here and you pay $65 for this unless you use your 20% off then it's you know less <laughs> and you get like a little redemption where you can basically go into a Sephora and redeem whichever one is the one that's your favorite and get a full size perfume so I am all about this life I'm a perfume junkie like I love perfume. I'm all about it so this to me is just like such a good idea and especially if you're gonna give this to somebody that's like a really really good idea so I would definitely suggest if you guys are interested in this if you have a perfume junkie in your life and you're like mm, yeah she's gonna like that then I would suggest you guys pick this up I honestly only picked it up for alien okay I don't own alien and I had a perfume sample of it the other day and I smelled it and I was just like what in the hell have I been doing Elver came up to me and he was like oh baby you smell really good and I was just like let me just pick this up real quick. <laughs> so I'm really excited to use these. They come with like really good perfumes in here. Like there's of course Alien. There's a Bulgari perfume in here. I can't really see the names too well. There's a Flora by Gucci, a Tory Burch, uh, Marc Jacobs. I can't read that. Uh, some Chloe, Tom Ford Velvet Orchid, like Burberry. There's some good stuff in here. So I'm really excited to smell all of these scents. I'm going to smell different every day and I'm so excited about it. And then because that's clearly not enough perfume samples, I got like a trillion billion more so I got a uh, Versace bright crystal because I actually don't own this but I just love getting samples of it I think it smells really good but I just I've never bought it I also got Prada Luna Rosa because this is one of Elver's favorite colognes I actually just bought him like this gift set with like two of these or something so now he can have another one I got Jimmy Choo illicit I'm not gonna open this right now because I'm late to work uh, what else did I get I got so many you know I had to get Alien. You know I had to, right? You know I had to. Every time that I see this now, I'm just going to be like, oh yeah, let me get about 35 samples of this. Thank you. And then, <laughs> oh, I dropped that on the floor. I didn't even, did you see that? I didn't even make it on the counter. And then I also got this. This was, I didn't get this during the sale because during the sale, like for the promo code, you have to put like Rouge 20 or whatever the VIB one is. But before the sale, they had another promo code that would get you just like a bag of samples. So I don't think they have it anymore, but this was the bag that appealed to me the most. So you get the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask, which I own this, and it is so hydrating. I love this. Even though I have oily skin, it's very important that you hydrate your skin so that it doesn't produce extra oils that nobody has time for. And I also got, what else did I get? Um, I also got, I guess this is like a tiny lipstick. This is a Makeup Forever 
uh, Rouge Artist Natural in N9, which looks very sheer, but it looks like a really pretty, like, neutral everyday color. It's right here under Lolita 2. So that's cute. I also got this Sephora Super Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover, which with my watery eyes, I won't be needing this. So let's just be real with ourselves. I also got this Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. You already know how I feel about this. You already know. I haven't tried this yet, but you already know. I got a tiny version of the Ink Liner in Trooper by Kat Von D. This is not the same as the Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I believe this one might have a felt tip at the end instead of the brush tip that the Tattoo Liner has, but I can try it now. I also got a sample of the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream, which is really exciting to me because this is actually the eye cream that I use and I've only used it in samples like I just keep going to Sephora and getting samples I like it I wouldn't say it changes my life but I do notice a difference with my eye bags I feel like they're not as prominent or as dark I got the philosophy watery floral vanilla fragrance I'm not really sure I don't know and then the last thing I got is Elizabeth and James Nirvana black which I do have a rollerball of this and Personally, I don't like it like at all. I know a lot of people really like the black and the white I don't have the white but I think there is a sample of the white in that Sephora huge box that I showed you guys So I will have to smell it, but the black I am not a fan of and of course this little bag like I think this is so cute I've been looking for a makeup bag and just the fact that this is so cute like it feels like really good material Like I'm really excited about this. I'm really hyped for it. So that's it for my haul Thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have a Sephora VIB Rouge or VIB haul on your channel Or you just have something you want to share with me, please leave it in the comments below I would love to see what you guys got. I love watching hauls you guys know you know and I know you know And I know that I, you know that I you know Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already Don't forget to follow me on Instagram snapchat and Twitter all the information will be linked down below as well as everything on my face today and all the products we talked about and links to some of my previous videos so there's a lot of stuff down there just like open that up there's stuff there that's all i have to say and so i'll see you guys in my next video bye what 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 no wait up no. i don't know but i love Oops. What was the, the really small one called? Oh my god, what was that little small palette called? You guys know the palette I'm talking about that came in a box? I have the box. Studio case. I don't. So, that is exciting. That's exciting. Like that, and just be... Stop it.